person who truly target vocabulary. As usual, let's start with reading the words. Please repeat the words after me. Provision, dexterity, aspects, apprentice, influential, contributions, persuade, authorities, bondage, tentative. I'll repeat the words one more time. Provisions, dexterity, aspects, apprentice, influential, contributions, persuade, authorities, bondage, tentative. Now let's start with the first word. Provisions. Provisions are the food and, or the supplies that help you survive or live. So provisions are food and things that you need to live. Let's read the example. Colonial dock workers uploaded needed goods or provisions from newly arrived ships in ports. The colonial dock workers put down the needed goods or the supplies, provisions, from the ships that arrived in the port. The next word, dexterity. What does it mean? A dexterity is the ability to use your hands skillfully in a good way to do something. So, one more time, what is a dexterity? It is the ability to use your hands skillfully or in a good way or an excellent way to do something. Let's read the example. With dexterity or skilled hands, this silversmith makes beautiful bows. So, how? Does this silver miss makes beautiful vowels? He makes them with dexterity. He makes them with the ability to use his hands skillfully or or in an efficient way to do something. Great. The next word, aspects. What are aspects? Aspects are the parts of something or the feature or characterization of something. Let's read the example. Making frames and weaving fibers are aspects of par or parts of basket making. So, what exactly one aspect or one part of the process of basket making? It is to make frames and to weave fibers. So, to make frames and to weave fibers, these are parts of the process of basket making. Or these are the features or characterization of the process of basket making. So, aspects are parts of something, parts of a process, or feature of something, or characterization of something. Great. The next word. Apprentice. Apprentice is a person who works for someone to learn a skill or to learn a trade. So, what do we call the persons who work for someone to learn a skill or a trade? We call them apprentices. Great. Let's read the example. An apprentice to a blacksmith was trained to make horseshoes and nails. What does that mean? It means that he is a person who works for the blacksmith who is training to make horseshoes and nails. Influential. When something is influential, it means that it has the power to make other people do things. Let's read the example. Printers make books and newspapers that were influential in events before the revolution. So the printers, they made books and newspaper. These books and these newspaper, they were influential. What does that mean? It means that they have the power or they had the power to make other people think in a certain way and to do things. They were influential in the events before the revolution. They encouraged people to participate in the revolution. Contributions. Contributions are the improvements or things that you do to help make something successful. So what do we call the things that you do or the improvements that you do to help make something successful? We call them contributions. Let's read the example. Harvesting crops was one of many important contributions that kids made to the family farm. So, what were the contributions that kids made to the family farm? What were the things that kids made to help 
make this family farm successful? The harvesting crops or collecting the crops. So how can we describe harvesting crops? We can describe it as contributions, things that the kids do to help make the family farm successful. Persuade. To persuade is to convince someone to do something, to convince someone to agree with you, to agree with your point of view, and to do something. A sign hanging above the door was used to persuade customers to enter the shoe shop. So, what is this sign used for? What is it used for? It's used to persuade customers to enter the shop. It's used to convince the customers to enter this shop. Authorities. The authorities are the people who have the power to enforce law and to give orders. For example, the government officials. Okay, let me repeat it one more time. Authorities are people such as the government officials, people who work in the government, who have the power to enforce, who can enforce laws, who can apply laws and give orders to others. What we call these people, we call them the authorities. Okay, let's read the example. Judges were the highest authorities or officials who could settle legal disputes. So the judges were the highest people who have the power to enforce law and give orders to settle legal disputes, to settle legal fights. Bondage. Bondage is working against your will and the state of being a slave to someone else. So what do we call the state of working against your will, not by your will, we call it bondage. Let's read the example. Enslaved people who were held in bondage were often servants in the homes of the rich. So what did the people who were held in bondage do? They were servants in the home of the rich. The last word, tentative. Tentative means uncertain, so when something is tentative, it is uncertain, not guaranteed. Let's read the example. These merchants are shaking hands over a tentative deal. A contract will make it permanent. So these merchants, okay, they are shaking hands over what kind of deal? Tentative deal, uncertain deal. We're not sure if the deal is gonna take place. But a contract, a contract, a written agreement will make this deal permanent, will make it last forever, and will make this deal applicable, which means that it's gonna be applied. That's it for today. Thank you so much. See you in the next video, inshallah.